Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to look at how we can create moving targets in our project and then how to shoot them and destroy them. These blueprints are instance editable so you are able to create a blueprint asset, drag it into the scene and then customize their direction, their speed, and also the time that they change direction. So let's jump right in and see how we can set this up. Right here I have opened up a first person template and I cleaned it up a little. The first thing we want to do is to adjust our projectile. So here just select the gun, hit Control b to go to the folder and here you can find your first person projectile open it up and you can play with the size of your sphere and your collision component i scaled them down a little so they look like uh, bullets and if you want to know my settings the scale for the sphere is set on 0.1 and for the collision component is set on 1 the next thing I want to do is to adjust the speed of these projectiles. Here you can see that you are able to change the speed. The default values are something about 3000 if I'm not mistaken. But uh, here I want to go with 6000. So the bullets move a little faster and also I scaled down the gravity scale. It's on one but i don't want them to go towards the ground when they're flying so i'm going to decrease the amount to something like 0.5 now you can see that the bullets are flying like this and we are good to go okay now let's go to the content browser and create a blueprint right click go to your blueprints and create an actor let's name it bp moving target and open it up the first thing we need is a static mesh so here hit add search for cylinder and add it to your blueprint let's scale it down in the z-axis to something like 0.1 and then rotate it like this we can also create a material for this so it looks cooler so here i have imported a texture and i'm going to use this to make a material so just right click on this and hit create material name it m moving target and now you can see that this texture is assigned to the base color now let's go back to our cylinder and assign the material so select the static mesh and here search for moving target and select your material let's also rotate it 108 degrees and now we are good to go let's drag it into the scene and see how it looks all right it's looking great now let's make it move so again here go to your blueprint and in the event graph first we need to create a couple of variables the first thing we need is speed so create a variable name it speed and change the variable type into float the next thing we need to create is a variable for our direction so again create a variable name it direction and this time set it on vector so we have three floats and we can define the direction of the movement by using x y and the z axis finally we need another float that determines the time that the object changes direction 
so create a variable and name it time to change and also set it on float all right now in order to make the object move we need to use our event tick with a function called add actor world offset for the delta location we are going to use our direction and speed variables so drag them in hit get and then we need to multiply them together so here drag off a wire search for multiply and also change this pin to float and then plug this speed in then connect this and now you can see that if we define a speed like 5 and also set a direction like a 1 in the z-axis our blueprint will move I think that we should consider here is that if we bump up the direction value for example to something like 20 it will affect the speed of the movement which is something that we don't want so we need to normalize this value here just drag off a wire search for normalize and plug this in now this value cannot be set on a value more than one and our problem is solved okay the next thing we need to do is to make it move back and forth between two points so here we need to use this time to change float here the way we are going to use it is that we need to have an event begin play and then use set timer by event what it does is that after this time it will call an event and it will uh, repeat so just drag off a wire from this event and create a custom event and then use this event to reverse the direction of the movement so here just get the direction also set the direction then multiply this value by minus one again change this to float and set it on minus one plug this in and plug this in as well and now we are good to go so what's happening here is that after for example two seconds this event will be called when this is called the direction of the movement will be multiplied by minus one meaning that it will reverse the movement so here let's compile and play now you can see that it's changing the movement after two seconds but it didn't repeat and the reason is that we have not checked this looping option so enable this and now you can see that it's going back and forth between these two points All right, we are all almost done. So the final thing we want to do is to destroy the actor after it's hit. So here, search for event hit, and then before we destroy it, we actually want to spawn uh, an emitter. So here, search for spawn emitter at location and using this function we are able to spawn uh, this fire or this explosion effect here 
for the location we are going to use the heat location node here so just plug this in and this will spawn the emitter at the location of the impact then we can also play a sound so here search for play sound at location and select an explosion audio again for the location we are going to use this and after that we can destroy our actor you can also double click on your wires and create these nodes to make it look a little cleaner all right let's compile and shoot this to see what happens yeah it's working great the final thing that we need to do is to make our variables instant editable when we do this we are able to play with these variables for the instances of this blueprint class that are present in our level so just check instance editable for these and now you can see that when you select your blueprint in your level you are able to change these variables in your level editor so for example let's keep this on these values here and make a copy for this one we want to make it move up and down so set the direction on z set the speed on 10 and time to change on 4 for example for this guy here you can make it move on all of the directions with these values for example and now you can see that you are easily able to control their movement based on what you want in your level yeah that's it guys for this video and this is how you can set a simple moving target in your game thank you guys for watching and if you learned something new from this tutorial please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel peace out